In this video, we're going to show you the basics of selling an item on eBay. This includes listing items, connecting your PayPal, and messaging bidders. Use the clickable sections below to skip to these parts. eBay uses PayPal as its secure payment method, so you'll need to link your PayPal to your eBay account to start buying and selling. First, log into your eBay account at ebay.com. Click on your name from the top left of your screen and choose Account Settings from the drop down. Underneath Payments, click on PayPal Account. Click on Link My PayPal Account and then fill in your PayPal login details. Click Login. A new window will appear. Click on Return to eBay. Now go back to PayPal Account underneath the payment section. You may need one further step to verify. If so, below verify your PayPal account, you'll click on become verified. You can now buy items, pay for listings and receive money via your PayPal account. Before listing an item, Make sure you're logged into your eBay account. From the top right corner, click on Sell and then List an item. Type in a description of your product and then click Go. You'll see a list of similar items on eBay. Choose the one you want and then click Sell one like this. You can also type in a title for your listing and then find this. If you don't want to choose a similar item, type in a title for your listing and eBay will show you the top keywords for your product below. Click on an option and then go. eBay will find appropriate categories for your item. Select the one that makes the most sense for your item and then click create listing you'll be taken to the listing details page. Fill in as much information as you can about the product here. You can upload photos of your product here. Below the listing details section, you'll find where to fill in details of your auction, shipping and optional features. You can leave your listing at any time and go back later to add more information. Scroll to the bottom and click save for later eBay will save it as a draft on your sell page. Make sure to add in all the information required and then click list it to list your product. We'll cover these other sections in more detail later. You can sell your item via auction or at a fixed price. We're going to put these candlesticks up for auction. From the top right, click on sell and then open up your draft listing. Under the Selling Details section next to Format, select Auction Style from the drop-down. From the drop-down next to Duration, select how long you want the item to be on auction for. Choose if you want to list your item right away or at a later time here. Choose your starting bid price here. You can add a buy it now price as an alternative choice for buyers if you're selling via auction. Set a price here. You can set a hidden minimum selling price for your item. This will be the lowest price you're willing to accept. If the listing ends without any bids at that price, then you won't have to sell the item. Note that this service does cost 4% of the reserve set and will be charged regardless of whether the item is sold or not. To set a hidden minimum, add it under Reserve Price here. The bidders will not be able to see what you set the minimum bid to. If you want to allow buyers to make offers outside of the normal bidding process, click on the check mark here. Potential buyers can send you the price they're willing to pay, which you can accept, reject or counter. If you want to make a donation to a charity with your sale, Click the check mark here. Click the check mark here 
and add your PayPal email address. To make sure Buy It Now customers pay straight away on purchase, add a check mark here. You'll need to specify your shipping costs if you choose this option. To charge sales tax, select your state from the drop down and then eBay will calculate your tax amount here. Choose if you want to allow returns here. If your item doesn't sell on auction, you can have it relisted up to eight times automatically by clicking the check mark here. To list your product as only a buy it now item instead of one that can be bidded on in an auction, under the selling details section next to format, select fixed price from the drop down. Choose when you want to start the listing here. Set the price of your item here. You can choose whether to ship your item only domestically, internationally or not at all. Open your draft listing and scroll down to the shipping details section. There are numerous shipping options. Be sure to go through and read each option carefully. Add your item packaging dimensions here. Check your item location is correct and click change if you need to amend it. If you're listing a Buy It Now item, you can add promotions to help sell your product. If someone clicks on the ad and then buys your product, eBay will take a percentage of the sale price as their fee. You can set these up here. You can also offer a discount when buyers purchase more than one product on fixed price items by clicking the check mark here. If you've chosen to use any services that aren't free to list your item, the fees will be summarised here. Note that eBay will take a fee if the item sells. Note these services aren't available for auction listings. Now you've completed all your details, you can preview your listing here. And then click List Item to complete. Potential bidders and buyers often message the seller to ask for more information. When you receive a message, you'll get an email notification to the email of your account. To open your messages, from the top right, hover over My eBay and then click on Messages from the drop-down. Open up a message and then click Reply to respond. Once your item is sold, you'll receive an email to confirm. At the top right, click on the notification bell and you'll see that your item's been sold and needs to be shipped. Click on the notification and you'll be taken to a summary of your sale. Your buyer's address will be added in automatically. Select the method of shipping and complete the details here. You'll see a summary of the cost of the shipping to pay here. Purchase the shipping by clicking here. You can now print your label and ship your item. You can see how long you have before you need to ship your item on your sellers page. Hover over My eBay in the top right and click on Selling from the drop down to open your sellers page. You'll see an overview of how many listings you have active, sold and unsold here. Below you'll see your tasks. Here you can see how long you have before you need to ship the item.